U.S. President Donald Trump said that his 60-day suspension for individuals seeking permanent residency, also known as a green card, is necessary to protect American workers. It would be wrong and unjust for Americans laid off by the virus to be replaced with new immigrant labor flown in from abroad. The White House has not released details about the plan, but Trump said that there will be exemptions for temporary guest workers, such as those who work seasonally on farms. The farmers will not be affected by this at all. If anything, we're going to make it easier, and we're doing a process that will make it better for those workers to come in to go to the farm. It's unclear whether Trump means suspension of all green card processing or just new applications, and whether application-based family ties, including spouses of American citizens, would be impacted. Much of the actions by U.S. immigration systems have already stopped due to the pandemic, with almost all visa processing indefinitely suspended for weeks. It's not yet known whether this executive order would impact health workers on H-1B visas who are seeking to transfer their status to a green card, but the move is already creating concerns among public health experts. Data from the U.S. Census Bureau shows that immigrants make up a large portion of the healthcare industry, including 28 percent of physicians, 15 percent of nurses, medical assistants, and health technicians. He is going to be halting uh, the immigration of experts who could be helping to tackle this pandemic. Republican lawmaker Matt Gates has been working with Trump to finalize the order. The constellation of ideas that the president is currently refining for that executive order uh, considers the types of folks that would regularly traverse the border for commerce as opposed to those who are actually engaged in the act of immigration to, uh, to have, you know, who don't live and work in the United States and would come here for that purpose. The president has legal justification to enact immigration policies for health reasons. The recent Supreme Court decision upholding Trump's travel ban also gives him legal precedent. But analysts point out that with most polls showing the majority of Americans disapproving of Trump's handling of the pandemic, this could be politically motivated. This move allows him to try to change the conversation around pandemic. And I think he's trying to sort of present himself as making a large major decision that can mitigate the public health and the economic fallout from, from what's been happening with the spread of the virus. Trump, who is running for re-election on his immigration record, has often touted his orders to stop the entry of some travelers from China in late January as a decisive move that saved many lives in the pandemic. Hatsuida Kuswara, VOA.